Hi guys, I hope everyone's fit and well. It's an absolutely beautiful day. And we've come out for a walk and uh, where we're at is an old railway line. It's a beautiful walk. It's somewhere that we come regular. We bring the dog and it's somewhere we came with the kids when they were, when they were younger. But yeah, it's an absolutely beautiful place. Um, like I said, it's an old railway line and I think it shut in about the 1950s. And now it's quite a popular walk. Uh, got a, an, an observatory there to the left and on the right hand side you can't really see but there's a building there and there's a planetarium in there so this bit here is what used to be Thorpe Fuels railway station and the old station building there it's now a cafe So when I was a child, that used to be a visitor centre, and inside the visitor centre, it was all set up um, how a Bodger's um, place would be in the woods, with like a roundhouse and uh, shave horses and all that kind of thing, and it always fascinated me, absolutely loved it, so even as a child, I had some sort of fixation with the woodland. I was going to take a little look here because there's a few wild edibles. We've got this one here, which I'm sure a lot of you will recognise as garlic mustard or Jack by the Hedge. Um, we can use the flowers and the leaves and add them to salads. Later in the season, once these have ripened, the seeds, we can take them and grind them like in a pestle and mortar and uh, make like a mustard out of that. I mean, I've seen some of the leaves, the base leaves on these, grow absolutely ginormous but yeah it's a quite a nice plant i think it has like a cabbage type flavor if we walk a little further on we've got this plant here this one's called wood Evans or herb bennett and this has got this is quite a useful plant we can uh take these leaves and we can make a tea um with them and with that tea it can, it's good for things like helping with diarrhea. Um, it's like it's got really strong astringent qualities. We can take the leaves, bruise them up, and apply them to a cut, and it'll help stem the flow of bleeding. The roots taste similar to cloves, and uh, we can use the tea, make take the leaves and make a tea, and use them for things like sore throats and mouth ulcers and that type of thing. It's a pretty useful plant, and we can also take the leaves and fry them. Um, in oil and they'll puff out like a bit like a prawn, prawn cracker and then just along here we've got Herb Robert another absolutely fantastic plant Stinking Bob another name because of its smell it doesn't smell too pleasant but it's a really beautiful plant and it has um, ex some extremely good medicinal uses it's a germanium which is extremely good for us and it, um, it energizes us and it's good for our blood and things it's a useful herb if you've had an x-ray because it'll help take nearly fell on over the radiation out of our system from an x-ray yeah, it's a pretty useful plant i mean i could go into more detail with it but we don't want to drag the video out too long but yeah that's herb robert if we look at that if we take a look at the flowers and the leaves yeah we can you take that and rub it, apply it to our skin and it helps prevent um, being bitten. Here we've got another little useful plant it's called greater stitch wart um, in times past if these flowers were taken uh, and eaten it could prevent stitches getting people getting a stitch when they're um, out running um, i think uh, it was quite common uh, with messengers you knowing they would run from one place to another with a message sometimes get cut called poor man's buttonhole and i believe it was they would take it and put it in the in the lapel button 
got another one just along here. This is a common one, I'm sure most people are familiar with this, called cleavers or goose grass or sticky willy. I mean, if we take this one, um, I mean, you're probably familiar, it was throwing it onto each other. But yeah, it's, a, it's an edible and it also has some medicinal uses. It's really good for our lymphatic system. Um, it makes an absolute amazing spring tonic. If we take that, squeeze it, steep it in water and then drink that, leave it steep overnight and then drink that the next day, makes a spring tonic. At this stage, it's um, a little tough. I wouldn't recommend trying to eat that now. Um, the tips, maybe, but I'm not too sure. It gets uh, tiny little white flowers on the end there. I mean, they're not coming through on these bits, but if we find some further down, I'll show that. Like I said, it's great for our lymphatic system. It's also great for our skin. If we crush it and squeeze the juice out of it, it's brilliant for things like stings and bites and sunburn and uh, eczema, I believe. They are really useful, really common and really, really useful plant. Also good for nettle stings. I'll well, carry on and have a look to what else we can find. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, Apple tree there. Yes, sir, I can see. Okay. Yeah. The st sun's starting to show. Is, isn't it? Yeah, there's loads. You just walk around here, that's what you start. Hey, we've got another absolutely fantastic plant. This is called Meadow Sweet, or Queen of the Meadow. I mean, later in the season, this grows and develops beautiful white flowers, and the smell from them is really strong. But this plant's another great plant, it's absolutely. Um, if we take some leaves and crush them and smell them, it smells really clinical. If anyone's familiar with the smell of germaline cream, it smells, I think it smells really similar to that. Um, but this is, contains something called salicin or salicylic acid, which is a, um, a component where aspirin was developed from. So it's a natural pain, re pain relief. Um, but if people suffer with an allergy against aspirin, then obviously it's avoidable. But this is good for things like upset stomachs, stomach ulcers and things like that. It's a, a pretty useful plant. It's quite easy to identify. If we take a look at the leaves there, um, we can see the shape. And if we look at the stem, it's red one side and it's not so on the other. But yeah, and then as, then again, if we take the leaf and we crush it and bruise it in our hands and smell it, it does have like a really clinical smell. Pretty useful. It's amazing what nature can offer us. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, I love this. It's been gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, me and Claire have just been chatting away there and we've just seen how beautiful the bird song is and how beautiful how beautiful it is just walking under the canopy of the trees. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? Um just listen to birds, it's just so peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. It's great for um clearing the mind. For anxiety. Yeah. It's great, it's lovely. Yeah, it's really yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it definitely gets rid of stress. And just look, walking and looking at all the wild edibles I've played about. I mean, there's absolutely loads of um, Herb Bennett wood havens along here, and uh, some more Herb Robert, dandelion, another useful plant. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. Where's Macy gone? Oh, you should use. There we go. I thought we'd just little stop off here a second and then we'll have a little look at the cleavers again. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but um, if we take a look at the end there, I hope the camera is picking it up. We can see tiny little white flowers on the end. Let's have a look on this one. See if we can get that. You can't really see on the, on the display screen on the camera. There we go, oh, yeah. I think. Tiny. I'll put a shadow across. Is that picking it up? You can see the tiny little white flowers on the end there. But yeah, it's a fantastic plant. And as a child, we had great fun with that. I believe as well we can take the seeds when it 
develops the seeds on there. We can uh, take them, dry them out and grind them up as a coffee substitute. I'm sure I've read that somewhere. But I'll look into that and we'll, uh, we'll see if that's true. Now we've just stopped off at this little bit here and we thought we'd uh, just show you this. Um, as we can see there in the distance, we can see houses being built. Um, we can see just there in the foreground, we can see a reptile fence. Um, but this used to be an absolutely beautiful woodland, didn't it, Claire? Yeah. It was such a beautiful, peaceful place. It was full of deer. Um, we had buzzards and stuff like that you'd get regularly. And we used to come and visit this uh, on, on a regular basis. The last time we were in there, when it was a woodland, uh, if you scroll down our videos, there's one called a, a chilly a chilly afternoon or something like that it's f it's way down um a couple of year ago now um, myself and claire came in this woodland with a dog and we set the tarp up and we got a little fire going and we just chilled out having a brew and really enjoyed it and the following week we came back and to find the woodland uh being cut down which was quite sad so yeah it is where it is not nice it's not nice to see especially when we see how beautiful the woodland was once so should we carry on our little yeah. journey? Yeah, yeah, absolutely gutted. It was heartbreaking. Right, we'll leave this little bit there and we'll head off. There we go, we've got some wild strawberry down here. We take a look at the uh, flowers there. And they develop tiniest little strawberries, but the amount of flavour that's in them is absolutely unbelievable. Especially for the size. It is a, a real, a real um, tasty little treat when we're out walking but we can take the leaves off this as well and we can make a infusion like a tea with them and that's also good for things like sore throats and really delicious but yeah pretty useful beautiful right let's carry on right we're just gonna stop off at this little spot claire's already sitting there and chilling aren't you enjoying it Enjoying it, enjoying the view. Enjoying the view. And we'll have a look at that view. Just look how amazing that looks. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's a little bit of a small wooded area on that side. A big old oak tree, or a big oak tree, doesn't look that old. Or it doesn't look ancient, rather. But yeah, look at that. We're just uh, having a bite to eat and a drink now. We've got our coffee, we've got some water. Macy's having a drink as well. And uh, we've got a bit of fruit to have, healthy and everything. Lose some of the lockdown belly because I've overindulged a little bit during lockdown. But yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic. We've loved it, haven't we? Yeah, definitely a good place to come. Yeah, it's amazing. <coughs> Blimey, Macy, what are you doing? yeah we're um, gonna just enjoy listening to the birds and enjoy the scenery and then enjoy watching Maisie hawk something <laughs> 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 but yeah I hope <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching the video I hope you've enjoyed um, joining us on this one I hope you've enjoyed having a brief look at some wild edibles and in future videos we'll probably go into m more in depth in some of these different plants um, but yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah, um, it's absolutely great for just clearing the mind. Yeah. Like. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Um, if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the thumbs up button. And please leave a comment. We really would like to hear from you. Um, but yeah, take care and stay safe. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm going to enjoy my banana now. Stay safe. Bye. Bye stay safe. <laughs>